Yes, that's correct, Matt. Uh, One million a year. Um, you know, right now there's 30 cobalt processing facilities in China and zero in North America. So, you know, we, we need to catch up here. That's uh, and, you know, luckily we started this process a few years ago before the um, IRA and the other laws. And now we're catching a nice tailwind. So it's going really do you, well. Do you get any financing benefits from that tax breaks from that legislation? I mean, are there subsidies that you can take advantage of here? Yeah, absolutely. Though I will say we were going to do this uh, plant without those subsidies, but it's a great help for us for sure. So how much are you going to spend to build this plant? I know that uh, Yuma, because I read in a local newspaper, expects to have a ton of uh, revenue sort of as a, job? as a knock on effect, yeah. jobs and everything. Um, but how much are you going to spend to build it and when are you going to be done making it? Ballpark around three hundred million dollars, and it'll be done in twenty twenty six. We think. All right. So, what actually happens at a cobalt processing facility, and how does that how is that part of the whole battery situation? So, cobalt is a really important metal uh, for EV batteries, uh, for thermal regulation, and for energy density, and for uh, you know giving you long range and good cold weather performance. It's also extremely important in uh, aerospace and defense. It's used in hypersonic missiles and stealth bombers. So it's a really critical uh, material uh, for, for the United States to have uh, self-sufficiency in. Um, so what we do is we take um, cobalt hydroxide. So already processed cobalt that is processed in Africa, and then it'll come here to the United States instead of going to China. Um, and, you know, what the Chinese do is they just process it there and then send it back to the United States for the uh, cars here, such as Tesla and other uh, electric uh, automakers. But we we want to skip the China step, just bring it straight here to America, process it into cobalt sulfate, which is the salt that goes into the cathode portion of the EV battery and uh, sell it to the new plants that have been announced in the United States by um, General Motors, LG, uh, Samsung, Ford. You know, they're spending billions of dollars building these, uh, what they call battery precursor plants. Uh, they're gonna use, get nickel uh, sulfate, cobalt sulfate, manganese sulfate, and put it all together and make a battery pack. Now I've seen, um, I guess, a rendering of the plant in, in Yuma and one of the things you immediately notice, Paul, check this out. Yeah. A giant yeah. solar facility, <laughs> even bigger than the actual um, processing plant. So I know you guys want to be uh, carbon neutral. This is all going to be powered by the sun? Yes, indeed. Um, Yuma County is the sunniest county in the United States. So it's <laughs> it's pretty easy, we think, to, to do the uh, full-on solar power 100% solar, no greenhouse gases, no propane, no diesel. Um, so we also are, are going to be benefiting the local farmers by selling them back some of our excess solar production at uh, cost. They're losing a lot of hydro uh, power from the lower levels on the Colorado River. So they're very excited about our um, coming in and uh, building this facility there. Well, I, I heard that you know, you like Yuma not only because I guess apparently your wife is from Yuma, for one thing. That's right. Um, it's yeah, also very smart. sunny, <laughs> uh, yeah. low, low cost of living, low regulatory kind of hassle um, there. But it's close to like all the used batteries coming back out of California is what I read. So are you recycling uh, cobalt there? We will. We, we intend to recycle as well. So, you know, our first... Um, phase is to build a sulfate uh, facility, which is um, sort of, I think, the easy, easier thing. It's a very established technology around the world. As I said, there's 30 of these plants in China. And then as as more and more um, batteries are spent and used up, we want to recycle some of those into uh, turning them around and getting the cobalt back out of them. And then lastly, we want to add a um, cobalt metal facility for uh, aerospace and defense. So that's part of the strategic reserve announced by the president under the Defense Production Act. How do you think you will be able to compete against the Chinese? They obviously have a much greater scale, presumably 
government support to some level. How do you think about the competitive environment? Well, you know, there is no cobalt mined in China either. They they all take it out of Africa. So gotcha. we're competing with them in Africa. We're going to bring it here instead of taking it to China. And so logistically, we save money. The other great thing about Yuma County and where we are, it's right on the border of uh, California and Mexico. So we're going to come through the port of Long Beach or the port of Ensenada with our inputs. So and it's only three hours by truck from Ensenada or Long Beach. So. I think logistically, it's the great spot. We're on Interstate 8. We're on uh, the UP Railroad. So we, we picked it also because logistics are important in these, in these kinds of uh, deals.